guys, Ruby J here, alongside my stepbrother, Mr. Skeleton. So today, we are going to be talking about what they got right with Phineas and Ferb. The show is all about imagination, creativity, and enjoying every second of summer. In the spirit of the show, we are going to be enjoying every second of this video. Ah, I can feel the wind in my hair and the sun in my toes. Can't you? <laughs> Oh. They're best friends, these brothers are tight. It's Phineas and Ferb, this is what they got right. Phineas and Ferb are boys of action. With over 200 episodes, they managed to make every moment of summer vacation count. But did you know that for 15 years after they were first created, they did nothing? That's right, the show's creators conceived of the show in 1993 but had to put it on ice because they were told that the show was too complex. Talk about a long game of freeze tag. But thankfully, the creators stayed true to their vision and got the show made 15 years later. Which is great, because the show's complexities are exactly what makes the show so awesome. So awesome, in fact, that other shows should follow suit and make things more complex by adding in their own secret agent platypuses, elaborate inventions, and tattletale older sisters. Originally, Phineas wasn't simply a fun-loving, happy-go-lucky kid. In early prototypes of the show, he was rude. But a rude Phineas means we would have rooted for Candace to bust Phineas and Ferb at the end of every episode. Poor Ferb. Wrong place, wrong time. Speaking of Ferb, or should I say not speaking of Ferb, creators plan for him to never speak. But after taking inspiration from popular comedy duos like Wallace and Gromit and Jay and Silent Bob, they realized that letting Ferb speak only once per episode built anticipation. Viewers waited with delight. I agree, and I like bananas. What a delight! Another change involved Harry's arch nemesis. At first, Dr. Hind Doofenshmirtz was called Dr. Middleschmirtz, which got me thinking. If Dr. Doofenshmirtz almost wasn't a doof, could that mean that Agent P wasn't always a P? One of the most unique parts of Phineas and Ferb is that there's an original song in each episode. Writing over 200 songs would seem like a lot of work, but the creators wrote each song in under an hour. I wonder how long it takes a skeleton to peel a banana. Ugh. Watching Phineas and Ferb is like having a roller coaster in your own backyard. With so much fun and imagination infused into each episode, creators made sure to make every minute of the show and summer count. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then, click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, I'm ready for summer. Me too, I've got Scooby Gam bananas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.